Right, thank you. And now, who am I here with? Oh, um, my name is Sarah Rivera. And you want me to tell my food story? It's real quick. I do. I can be Say quick, do. it can be long. So give me a food story. Say do. Say. It's rather quick. Okay. I was raised a seven day Adventist. And so uh, we uh, were basically vegetarian. And there was absolutely no pork. There was absolutely uh, no animals with no feet. There was absolutely no fish with the scale, without scales or um, uh, scavengers. Uh, and we did not eat game like duck and rabbits and things like that. Uh, however, uh, my dad was a strict vegetarian, and we were vegetarians all through the summer. But on the holidays, when you went to family, you were allowed to eat turkey, and you know, and break, you can break bread with fish on Fridays. But my deal here with the uh, with, with that was that it was so strict. So when I broke away from home and broke away from the vegetarianism and the Seventh Day Adventism. The first thing I did say to you is eat me a great big fat cheeseburger. <laughs> and now today, um, I sort of regret um, uh, being that much of a, a, a meat eater. I, I have um, I slacked up on, on the meat eating, and I feel healthier. Too. I don't know why. I feel lighter. I feel healthier. I feel more alive. And uh, that's basically my food story. That generally, when they say you have a special diet, I'll say no pork. Okay. You know, when I was a kid, you know, when, you know, kids are ruthless. They go, we don't eat swine. My, my son still does it. But today, you know, when I'm offered um, ribs or something like that, I'll just, you know, I humbly and softly say, no, thank you. Oh, well, actually, I'll, I do the I'll same pass, thing. I'll, I'll pass on that one. Yeah, but other than that, uh, I'm not a pork eater, and that's basically my food story. Even though, let me get, keep it real, uh, we're not supposed to eat scavengers, but I love me some lobster and shrimp. And once <laughs> Once in a while, we all, we all I, I got to do red lights, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, we all do. Well, you know, one other quick thing. Mm -hmm. uh, before we sat down to eat and break bread here at Tish's house in our backyard, we were talking about fried bread. You talking about your love for fried bread. I love fried bread, too. But, well, you see, I'm part native. Uh -huh. And I didn't know my his, my history or heritage um, because I was raised, you know, I was raised in foster care. So when I found my family and found, you know, the, these things that have to do with my genetics and DNA, one of the things, one of the things in the diet was the fry bread. You know what I mean? I love fry bread. I won't do the pork. I won't do the roast pork. I won't do the duck. I won't do any of that. But certain things like fry bread in the morning with coffee, that is the bomb, period. <laughs> I'm a fan of it. Well, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.